Now we're back home and President Ekufado has called on member states of the Economic Committee of West Africa states to, to strive to perfect the holding of free, fair and credible elections on the continent. For him, through such enterprises, the continent will be guaranteed peace, stability and development. Addressing the ECOWAS parliament in Abuja, Nigeria, President Kufado indicated that despite few identified challenges with the holding of elections, the continent is, much bet is better off with democracy than dictatorship. Of our region, it is important that we consolidate our efforts in rooting out terrorism and threats of terrorism in West Africa. Apart from our people living in a constant fear and uncertainty, we cannot expect to attract the requisite levels of investment should this state of insecurity persist. We must take more rigorous and coordinated measures to ensure that we end terrorism in the community. In the same vein, we must pay equal attention to bringing an end to the insecurity in our maritime space in the Gulf of Guinea, which is today the greatest hotbed of piracy in the entire world. This is not a reputation we deserve, and we must work together urgently to change the narrative. Mr. Speaker, it is well acknowledged that Africa is a blessed continent. Our region in particular is one of the major reservoirs of the richest natural resources in the world. President Akufuado there, he also applauded initiatives by Ghana and Senegal to develop and produce local vaccines to fight coronavirus. For the National Assemblies of ECOWAS member states, as well as heads of national and international institutions and diplomatic missions who are with us today and who by their presence are expressing their great solidarity with this community initiative. Mr. Speaker, this is the first time since the outbreak of COVID-19 that the ECOWAS Parliament is having an in-person session, and rightly so. COVID-19, nevertheless, is still with us, and its impact very visible, even amongst us, with the wearing of face masks and maintaining distance from one another. 